Hello, George Mason Stevens here with you, and um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I just got r done uh, watching um, <clears throat> Rick Simpson's Crush, Cancer with Hemp, and Truth. Very inspirational video. And um, I sent it to uh, a lot of the subscribers that I have. And uh, all I can say is watch it. It uh, points out a lot of truths. And, well, not a lot of truth. It's all truth. The whole thing is all truth. And um, <clears throat> a lot of the... Uh, I got a lot of text messages lately within the last, I don't know, month or so. Two months period uh, about uh, how President Obama was thinking, we'll, we'll put that in context there, how he was thinking of uh, looking at the issue of legal legalizing marijuana. <clears throat> and uh, that's kind of the reason that I'm making this, for the simple point I want to make that don't believe any of it. This is just a uh, a point to say that it could be addressed in the future when really all of, all of us that really know how big government and medical companies and everything like that works is we all know that it's never going to happen for the simple fact that if you watch Rick Simpson's video, um, Nature's Natural Medicine, is that uh, there's a lot to be made on diseases in general, but for the one thing, uh, cancer. And uh, what is cancer? Uh, cancer is a mutation of cells inside your own body. And what THC does, the cannabinoid, cannabinoids in THC um, raise your level. It's not it's not like a magical cure or anything. It's just a uh, it's a helper of it's a helper that your body uses to cure these diseases. It's not like the THC goes in your body, and it's a natural curing. It's helping your body, which is a fucking amazing biomechanical machine, to you know get rid of get rid of these mutations and bring your body back to a sense of well-being. And um, it's a cure all yet illegal really funny to me. Well, actually, it's not funny when you look into the facts of it that there's so many drug companies out there that are pumping people full of chemicals and making lots of money off of it. And you see all these ads on popular media about how all these people are giving all this money to all these different drug companies and doctors and medical facilities and yet they still don't have a cure. Now why is that? You think with the system and the scientific knowledge that we have today that this should be a minor bump in the road, right? We're able to totally map out the human genome, we're able to clone people, and yet oh, we can't find a cure for that God darn cancer. Well, there's a simple reason for that. It's because they don't want to find a cure for cancer. If they supposedly can't find a cure for cancer, then they continue they can continue making millions of dollars on something that's totally preventable and curable by something that's supposedly illegal. Why is it illegal? Well, other than hampering the drug, big drug businesses 
ability to pump people full of chemicals and make billions of dollars, um, you know, that's pretty much it right there. I mean, just if, if you step back and jump out of your little ignorant bubble that you live in, that where you listen to popular media, popular magazines, and everything that the government is pumping in your head saying this is how it is, this is how it should be, and this is how it's always going to be. If you can step back outside of that circle for a while and just look at things, life is so much easier than what they portray to be. Why? Because if they, if it, if, if they can make it so that it's not that easy, that's just another reason for them to get the all honorable dollar. Yeah, you know, the George Washington, you know, the big dollar bill that, you know, they all strive for, and that's how they make their money, that's how they sit in their big fancy houses and, you know, sit, kick back and relax while the normal person struggles to make it through life. And, um, I guess... Watch the video and make your own diagnosis of what you think of it. And don't just say, oh, you know, marijuana's bad, when actually it's not marijuana, it's the hemp plant itself. Hemp has been known for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years, to be a cure all. Go back to ancient Chinese medicine, go back to you know, the Aztecs, the, you know, people, you know, people like that, that has, that knew about this all along, that were, ma you know, mass, massacred by white people. Why? To get gold, a.k.a. to get the all-honorable dollar to make money. That's all they're after. And don't listen to Obama when he says, oh, we might look at this, because you know what? It doesn't matter how many text messages you send in or how many times you call that bullshit company. He's not going to look at it. Why? Because he profits from not legalizing it. So why would he have reason to legalize something that he's making billions of dollars off of? Right there, exactly. So, just watch the video. Don't listen to this jargon that Mr. Big Time President Obama puts out there about how it might be a possibility. Go back and look at his video, uh, his speech that he gave a couple months ago when somebody asked him about it. And he laughed in their face and gave a smirk and said it might be something he's going to look at. Not gonna happen, people. It's never gonna happen. Why would you want to legalize it? He has no reason to. If he legalizes it, that's something, you know, that undercuts him. That's something that might give a rise to the common folk and something that might get put him out of office. So, youth common sense. Something that people just don't have today in general. Use some common sense, watch the video, and um, tell me what you think. I mean, I want to I wanna hear about it, you know? I want to hear what you people think about Rick Simpson's claim, and uh, also watch uh, Emperor Hemp by Jack Herr, and, you know, look up some the Seth www.sethgroup.org and um, go out and read The Emperor Wears No Clothes also. Those are just, you know, a couple pushes that I'm going to put out there. But, um, that's all I have to say, I guess, for right now. And, uh, I'm sure I'll be posting back on this soon. Once I, you know, once they start hearing from people what they think about this stuff, so... Anyways, um... Yeah, this is George Mason Stevens, and I'll be...